So in the previous video, we set up all the basic uh, login and registration system that Laravel has built in. And now we're going to expand on top of that and add in roles. So each user can have multiple roles in this scenario. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a roles table and then link that to the users table. So the first thing we wanna do is create our roles table and create a model for it also. So to do this, we can do PHP artisan make colon model role and if we put dash m on the end of that that creates a migration for us so let's just hit enter and you see up here it's created the roles migration for us and also underneath app it's created a role model so now we need to link our users to a role so to do this we need to set up a belongs to many relationship on the user model to roles so we just do a public function and we call this roles and inside of here we want to return this model and this model belongs to many app role so what we're saying here is the user model belongs to many roles so a user can have many roles and now inside the role model we need to do the reverse. So I've just pasted this in and we want users and belongs to app user. So we're basically saying a role can belong to many users. So now we've created a belongs to many inside of our role model and our user model. We need a table within our database that links these two together. So let's create a new migration. So to create this table, we don't need a model for it, but we do need to uh, generate a migration. So to do that, it's PHP artisan make colon migration, and then we give the migration a descriptive name, something we can recognize it by. So for this, I'm going to use create role user table. So I've named this purposely to match Laravel's naming convention. So you use the singular form of the word. You don't use roles or users, you use role user, and you organize them alphabetically. So obviously role becomes before user. So let's just create that migration. Let's firstly open up our roles table. So we also want to add a new column for name. So if we just do a table and we want it to be a string and we want it to call this column name. And that's all we need in our roles table. And then let's open up our role user table migration. So now this is our migration for our role user table. And this is the table that links our users to our roles. So we need two things in here. So we need table integer and we need our role ID from the roles table. And we also need our user ID that that role ID belongs to. So on this, I like to match the columns. So I always stick unassigned on the end. So this matches the primary key on the role table and the user table. So now let's run them migrations. PHP artisan migrate. You see it's created our roles table and our linking table for role and users. Now that we have our table set up, we need to create some data for us to work with. So let's create a database seed. So it's PHP artisan make seed and we just give this a descriptive name and we're going to give this a name of roles table seeder and just create that and now we can see in our seeds it's created as a roles table seeder so in our seeder we need to bring in the um, role model so we can create new roles so use app backslash role and then the first thing we wanna do is truncate the table. So this deletes everything in the table every time the seed is run. So obviously we don't wanna keep seeding the database and then all these roles are being repeated over and over. So we can do role truncate and then that deletes everything for us every time this seed is run. So now all that's left to do is just create some sample roles. So I'm just gonna create a few roles for this. So all we do is role create and then pass it in a key value array 
of the column name and the data. So we want to give this a name of admin. And we're going to create two more and we're going to do author. And we're going to just create a basic user. So now that we have our seeder ready, uh, if we come over to database seeder under seeds, and what we want to do is call under the run method, call roles table seeder. So that will uh, run our roles seeder. Now the reason that I'm putting it in here is because it makes it easier to run. So I can just do a PHP artisan db colon seed and it will run everything inside of this method. Otherwise you need to call each seed individually and that can come tiresome and you'll probably miss a couple. So now that we have that in our database seeder, we can do php artisan db seed. And there we go, it's run our roles table seeder and it's put them roles into the database. So now that we have some roles in our database, we also want to create a seeder for users. So to do this, it's a php artisan make colon seed users table seeder. And then inside this seed, we're just going to create some new users. Uh, and to do this, we're going to bring in our user model. But we also want our role model. So like last time, we want to truncate the user table. And then we also want to grab our roles so we can attach them to the users. So to do this, let's get our admin role. So we want to get our role where our name is equal to admin and we want to get the first result eloquent finds and then we want to do the same for our other roles so we've got author role where name is equal to author and we want to get our user role where name is equal to user so now we have the roles, let's actually create the users. So we're going to create an admin and we're going to put this into a variable because we're going to need to attach the role later on. So we do a user create on the user model. And then just like in the roles, we pass it a key value pair array. And we're going to give this user a name of admin. We're going to have an email of admin at admin.com. And you can fill in there anything you like for these details. I'm just doing this for, for this demo. And we also need to give them a password. And Laravel stores passwords in bcrypt format. So we need to um, bcrypt this string. So bcrypt and we're going to give the password of admin. So I'm just going to copy this down for the other two roles. So we want our author and user create and we're just going to follow the same convention and just use author as the username. Authorauthor.com as the email and author as the password. And again, for just a generic low level user, it's user. Use that at user.com and a password of user. So now this will create our users. We need to attach the role to the user. So to do this, we get our admin user that we just created up here. And we use our roles method that we put on the user model. So if you just head over to the user model, remember we created a roles method that has a belongs to many property for app role. So we call this method called attach and we want to attach our admin role to this user. So let's pass in that. And now we just want to do the same for author and our user. So let's grab our author that we just created and we're going to attach the author roles to it and again just grab this user that we created here 
call the roles method and we want to attach the user role. Now we just need to add this seeder into our database seeder and we do this after the roles. So we call this call and we want to do the user table seeder class. And now we can seed the database. So if we just do a PHP artisan db seed. So that runs our roles and then our users. So I have a tool here called dbeaver and this is just a, a GUI to interact with your database to save using the command line all the time. So I just wanted to show you the effects of um, those seeders. So if we just go into our users table and we view the data. So there's our free users that we have with the passwords. And if we jump over to our roles table, see we have our free roles, admin, author, user. And then if we jump over to role user, so the user ID of one has a role ID of one. So if we look at our users table, ID of one is the admin user, and they have a role ID of one, which is the admin role. So the same here, user two has a role ID of two, and user three has a role ID of three. So in the next video, we're going to create a few little small helper functions on our user model so we can check roles and get the roles for each user.